Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Hershey, Pennsylvania and we are going to be camping out at the Hershey Park campground. I am so excited. My sister's birthday was the other day and she couldn't come to Florida to visit me so I decided to fly up to Pennsylvania, spend the weekend camping out and celebrating her birthday. So we're going to eat some food, maybe have a campfire and have a beautiful Hershey Park kind of day. Anywho's, Let's go do this. Since my mom and sister both loved my little staycation at the cabins at Fort Wilderness, I decided to get them a cabin at Hershey Park. Look at this. We got a nice little cabin here. We're right across the street from the park and uh, it even has a little, uh, looks like a little fire pit there. I like it a lot. It's very, it's very pretty. The whole area is pretty. Down there is the RVs and this is where the cabins are. And we're in lucky number cabin 35. Got a whole front porch here. Nice little table. I even like the, the front, like the door. Nice little screened in door. This is very fancy. No dogs though and no smoking. I had a last minute opportunity to do something really cool up here in Hershey and I reached out to my sister and I was just like, hey Bon, I'm like, since you guys couldn't make it to Florida, would you be interested in coming to Hershey and meeting me just for two days? Like I'm here for two days and we could go out to eat and hang out and they said yes. So I decided to get a nice little cabin for them and I think they're gonna love it. And uh, now uh, I'll give you the, the grand tour. Now it's time to head on in and give you the cabin tour and Bonnie and my mom and Ariel are already inside. There they are sitting on the couch. Very fancy. Look at that. Oh, there's Ariel there. Say hi. Yeah, hi. Say hi. Huh. <laughs> this is a nice little cabin. It's a two bedroom cabin and it sleeps like up to eight. It comes with a, a sink. It's got a little stove top, a microwave right there, a fridge, plenty of like drawer space too. Oh, silverware, very fancy. Got a little bathroom on this side. I like how everything's wood. I wish they had some decoration though. Yeah. You know, I mean, they have a little decoration. I'll show you. Nice little toilet. I don't know what's going on behind the door though. Ah, look at that. It's a little shower they got. And then we've got a fridge right here. And then, look at it in here. Yeah, bed up there. Bunk beds. Very fancy. I like how they have the stairs too. It's long, so like it stretches all the way back. And then over here is the, uh, I guess you would call it the main bedroom. It's got a big gigantic queen size bed. It's got a little artwork there, a drawer. And uh, you can look out your window and see other people camping. One thing I do want to point out about the cabin, this is a deluxe one. It's like a two bedroom. They have multiple different versions of them, but all of them don't come with pillows, blankets, or anything. You need to bring your own like towels, soap, and linens, and stuff like that. They're just bare cabins. They're just as is. And I, I honestly, I was a little shocked by that. I wasn't expecting it, but uh, yeah, you need, uh, they have like little mattress protectors, but nothing else. I guess I'm spoiled with Disney and expecting to have bed sheets and towels and soap in my resort. But honestly, when you go to a campsite and you rent like a camp or a cabin, normally it doesn't come with bed sheets. So this is such a spontaneously short trip. Like, honestly, I think I'm only here for 36 hours, but I'm gonna make the most of it. Like, we're gonna have so much fun. We plan on visiting Hershey Park tomorrow, and then I fly home back to Florida tomorrow, but we plan on going to Hershey tomorrow. We're staying in the cabin tonight, and then we also have a hotel room at the Hershey Lodge, which we're gonna go check out the Hershey Lodge later on because Bonnie wants to go eat there for her uh, birthday dinner, and they have a couple restaurants in there, but I still want to explore it around a little bit but it's gonna be fun I mean I'm excited to be here back up in Pennsylvania for just a small little trip since there's no pillows or blankets I think we're gonna actually head to uh, what big lots big or lots. five below <laughs> and we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some blankets and pillows maybe some sleeping bags I think that would be a little little cozy honestly I kind of want to sit I want the top bunk look at how cozy this is I'm the king of the top bunk. 
It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. This was all completely last minute. Like, I didn't even book my flight or the hotels until yesterday, right before I was supposed to be here. And I wasn't even gonna make a video. Like, I wasn't gonna vlog it or anything like that. But my mom and sister both said, uh, why aren't you filming? And uh, I was like, well, I guess I might as well make a video. I think it's gonna be a nice little experience. So I can uh, always look back and remember time I uh, spent with family here at the Hershey campground. What do you guys think of the uh, the cabin here? It's so, I think like, it's so quaint. Cute. Yeah, it is cute. Like, cute and cozy and I just, um, like there's no soap. There's not even a little bar of soap. Well, yeah, you know, it's a little... It, I mean, it's like camping, like... I guess we're camping. Yeah. But we're gonna go, we're, where should we go? Five Below or Big Lots? What do you I think? Big Lots. Big, big Lots? lots. Yeah. Maybe they have a nice yeah. little sleeping Five, bag. Yeah. yeah. Some, some, you know. Yeah. yeah. Get some VO5. Don't you use VO5 still or no? <laughs> Do you? <Swab. laughs> oh, what is it? Swab. Swab? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is literally a five below and a big lots like five minutes down the road. So we're going to go grab some necessities, uh, some VO5, some sleeping bags. And also, I want to see about getting some firewood for the fire pit there. Because I love to sit on the porch, roast some marshmallows, and just hang out with the family. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And then we're going to be going to dinner at the Hershey Lodge, which is one of their other resorts that they have here. Right there's our cabin. I can see it. Right there in between those two uh, two trees there. A couple two trees. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm pretty sure the Hershey Park, like the actual theme park itself, is across the street since it's Hershey Park Drive that we're driving on right now. We had Five Below, TJ Maxx, and Big Lots to choose from, but I'm pretty sure we're going all in on Big Lots. It's a big summer clearance event, up to 40% off thousands of items. So hopefully uh, some sleeping bags might be uh, one of those thousands of items. Looks like we've got a lot of good stuff for Ariel. She loves Encanto, so we're going to get our nice little Encanto pillow and then a little Encanto blanket here. And then I also found, look at these great deals. Look at these deals over here. I found fitted sheets for only $9.97 on clearance. So that's perfect. I think uh, this is like a full size and a twin size, so these will fit the bunk beds. So we ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pillows three bed sets, one Encanto pillow, one Encanto blanket. bed set, oh, blanket, and then a toddler bed set. Yeah. How much do you guys think all of this costs? You're gonna be shocked because I am shocked with this summer clearance event. It's actually, uh, honestly, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than you would think. Good old Big Lots. Big Lots for the win. Good old Big Lots. <laughs> I don't want to forget about the VO5. I like busting my mom because she always used, uh, we used to have VO5 growing up. And uh, <laughs> I see it all the time in the stores and I just automatically think of my mom whenever I think of VO5. I also decided on grabbing some supplies so we can make s'mores and I came across the Cream Savers Hard Candy. And I wanted to pick these up. I haven't had these in forever. I even know they still made them. Yeah. It was just about $100. And that's also because we did get like Ariel, some Encanto stuff, but most of it was on sale. Like I was really shocked. The complete bed sets, like the, the queen sets were only $10, $10. I'm telling you that summer uh, discount sales really happening at Big Lots. Okay, Ariel. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> you like all your Encanto stuff? Hey, Tonko Nene, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's a general store, they have a pool, they have a little playground area, and we'll go check those out later on. In fact, I wanna go to the general store and we'll see if we can get some firewood because I definitely wanna have a nice little fire, listen to some music, and just kinda of talk with my mom and sister. What's new? What's been going on, you know? I'm thinking maybe we can bring some of the chairs or maybe that uh, little uh, uh, seating area there down by the fire here. Down at the general store, I'm sure they're gonna sell wood. If not, we're gonna have to go out and get our own wood. 
Now that we got all of our shopping done, it's time to head out and explore the resort a little bit, go down to the general store, and then uh, get something to eat over at the uh, Hershey Lodge, which is another resort. Just about a minute walk from our cabin is the uh, check-in area and they have a general store, registration, and then they've got a nice little pool there. I want to see what's in the general store. It looks like they do have wood in here along with a lot of other cool uh, like merchandise and things that you can buy. Some Hershey Park clothing. This actually says Hershey Park Camping or Hershey Park Camping Resort, which is really cool. You know, it's just starting to sink in right now to me that we are at Hershey Park and we're about, well, we're going to make s'mores later on tonight, but this is like the Hershey chocolate capital of the world. This is Hershey Park. We're in Hershey and we're making s'mores. Like, isn't that crazy? There's nothing, there's no other chocolate you use for s'mores other than Hershey. Yep. Have you ever used any other chocolate? Gertrude Hawks. Yes. Ah. You did. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, that was nice. We ended up getting some firewood and uh, we found long sticks for the s'mores, which is good because we actually got like little like uh, cooking skewers. We got metal skewers from Big Lots because we couldn't find any s'more sticks. And uh, yeah, now it's time to head on uh, over to the restaurant and get something to eat. And we got our wood for later. So we're definitely having a fire tonight. We're doing it. And we have made it to the Hershey Lodge. And I have to say, I've never been in any of the resorts at Hershey, but this is beautiful in here. It's very cozy. I like this lobby a lot. They got a nice little big fireplace right here. It's not on at the moment because it's 90 degrees out, but they have a couple of restaurants. They have a nice little chop house up here. It's got a bar and patio on this, the second floor, it looks like. A little coffee shop here. Oh, and they also have a bear's den because of the Hershey uh, Bears, the hockey team. I actually want to show you that real quick. I love how there's random cutouts of Hershey characters all around the resort. And then they have a nice little gift shop here. And there's the bear's den that I was talking about. Here is the bear's den. Look how cool this is. I like it. I mean, if you're a big hockey fan, you'll probably like this a lot. I like the menu too. The menu looks really fancy, and I like how they have little characters out here. This is all just like a restaurant, but I think it's like a sports restaurant. Well, obviously. <laughs> you can see you got the hockey memorabilia here for the Hershey Bears. Very cool. And it's kind of like a bear's den. This is clever. Oh, wow, look at this. That is really awesome. Has all of the... Uh, yearly photos of the teams like oh this is yeah from uh, 1935 to 1936 the hershey hockey team right there look at that i think it kind of just looks like a regular sports bar in here but i do like the floor a little bit that's kind of that's kind of nifty and also the bear claws instead of going to the bears den i think we're going to reverly it says reverly yeah chop house bar and patio this seems like the spot to be. Reverly looks like a classic chop house. Lots of good cuts of steak. But the thing that is catching my attention is all of the Hershey's themed drinks and desserts. Because it's Hershey's chocolate. So they have a big list of different Hershey inspired like cocktails and different types of desserts. So we're definitely going to be checking some of those out. Here is a quick look at the menu for Reverly. They've got a lot of good steak here. Oh my lord, a 12 ounce Snake River Farms Wagyu strip loin. They've got a filet. They've got a 34 ounce tomahawk rib chop for two. And then they got a double cut bone in Australian lamb chops there. And it looks like it's around 50 to $60 per like steak. I mean, they have other things like the Pappardelle Primavera. They were roasted half chicken over here these were around 38 21 dollars for the burger uh, but like I mentioned the desserts I got all the menus here look at these desserts first of all 
we have Hershey's Signature Martinis. Hershey Kisses Signature Chocolate Martini. Then they have a Chocolate Caramel Martini, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Martini, a Twizzlers Strawberry Cream Martini. And these are all $14. And then take a look at the desserts. They've got a Molten Chocolate Cake, which is, I'm sure, made all of Hershey's. A Reese's Peanut Butter Pie. Oh man, I gotta get that peanut butter pie. But also, I'm interested in the tiramisu. All oh, this looks amazing. They have soft dinner like uh, napkins that smell like chocolate. How crazy is that? It smells like chocolate. Isn't that nuts? I just wanted to get you to smell oh, chocolate. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting it at all. <laughs> it doesn't smell like chocolate. <laughs> but it looks like it though, doesn't it? Does, it? Yep. I'm also looking at the menu and they have like a Hershey's chocolate sauce that you put on your steak. So you can get like a, a house-made chocolate sauce. How funny that I, I feel like we have to try that. We're gonna start off with some of those Hershey martinis that I was showing you. Bon Bon ended up getting the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one, and I got the uh, Strawberry Twizzlers one. And then the soup of the day is chicken pot pie. And you guys know I'm a big soup guy, but I don't know if you knew this, but my mom is a big soup girl. <laughs> a big soup girl. I don't even know if that doesn't make sense, but we're gonna do that and then also I think one of us is definitely gonna get that tomahawk rib chop, you know, and split it. I feel like it'll be fun and plus the sides look fantastic. Our martinis have arrived and look at mine. It has a little Twizzler inside of it. I love that. Cheers, Bon. Cheers. Oh, mine didn't clink. There it is. There we go. Oh, what do you got on your rim? I think it's probably Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, probably. I'm not the biggest martini fan, but I mean, how could you pass this up? Look at there's literally, oh my lord, things are starting to like ignite in my brain here. But do you remember when you were younger, you used to drink out of the uh, Twizzler? Yeah. Oh my lord, I'm gonna, oh, hold on. You gotta take a bite out of it. Yep. Yep. It's not working. Oh no, it's already cut off. It's not working. But do you remember you used to do that? I'm gonna try the martini on it as it is, like this. Wow, that is so good, so delicious. It's like drinking a boozy strawberry milk. Bonnie, try your martini. Now martinis are all straight alcohol, not just straight liquor, so. Yes. I'm excited to see you try it. Bonnie doesn't drink that much. Is it peanut buttery? So you get more of like a chocolate essence, but from the ring on the top, like the, the garnish, whatever, what is it called? The rim? The rim, yeah. Yeah. Um, it gives you like that little peanut butter aftertaste. Oh. And now our soup has arrived. It's a chicken pot pie soup with biscuit breadcrumbs. Biscuit breadcrumbs. Yes, I had to say it twice because I am so excited to try it. I ended up getting a little bit of pepper on there. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be much too good. Time to get into this soup here. Wow. Usually I just say good soup, but this needs more of a description. This tastes so amazing. It tastes just like a pot pie, but with the consistency of like chicken noodle soup. Like it's not too like creamy. It's a little brothy. But the bread, the biscuit breadcrumbs, I could just eat those. I need extra biscuit breadcrumbs, please. And now the food has arrived. And holy moly, we got a lot. <laughs> We've got asparagus over here. Look at that asparagus. It looks good. We've got some scallops. We've got some mashed potatoes. Some Gouda mac and cheese. The tomahawk, the rib chop right here. Look at how beautiful that is. You can just see the char on there. And then we've got the chocolate sauce. We've got the birch beer sauce. And then we've got the stout sauce over there. And then my mom's got the ribeye. She likes it medium well. She doesn't like a lot of red, but this has a beautiful char on it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little jealous of my mom's steak. Yeah, you guys know I love ribeye, but I wanted to split this one with Bonnie, but the char on that looks like the next level. Like, it looks so good. Here is a look at the sauces, too. This is the birch beer demi-glaze, and then the chocolate stout sauce right here, and then mom got uh, soy ginger. So there's a lot. 
there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot going on. How about the mac and cheese? Anybody try that yet? Is it good? Very good. Yeah, you like it? Love it. Bonnie's eyeing it up. You gonna get some? All right, here we go. Our first cut of the tomahawk. Whoever eats the most amount of meat gets the uh, keep the bone, Bonnie. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Be taking that on the plane. That steak is absolutely amazing. Cooked perfectly. Bonnie likes it a little bit towards medium well. I like mine mid-rare. They met in the middle. Excellence. Excellence, I say. Yes. <laughs> Bonnie's going straight to the bone. The bone meat is the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was way better than I expected. The steak was phenomenal. The birch beer demi-glaze was my favorite. Bonnie, oh, my mom loved the soy ginger. The soy ginger was my mom's favorite. Um, yeah, everything was good. You guys liked the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. It was all good. I really loved it a lot. And now it's time for dessert. We got the molten chocolate cake with marshmallow whipped cream. We got the Reese's peanut butter pie and the uh, creme brulee cheesecake. Creme brulee cheesecake. Cheesecake creme brulee. And the desserts have arrived. First, We've got the Reese's peanut butter cup pie. Look at this bad boy. Doesn't it? And it's got strawberries on it. And then here is the creme brulee cheesecake. Look at that. And then the molten chocolate cake. Oh, I mean, it is Hershey, so. <laughs> the only thing that doesn't fit the Hershey code is the cheesecake. Yeah. I'm trying the uh, peanut butter pie first with the whipped cream. Look at that. That peanut butter pie is the best peanut butter pie I've ever had in my life. Wow. How's the cheesecake, Bonnie? Oh, it's incredible. Yeah? It's literally so, like, light. Creme brulee? And then you get that creme brulee topping. Yeah. Oh, so good. Nice. And look at this. When they drop off the bill, they bring over little Hershey kisses. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I'm putting you in my purse. Put them in your purse, Ma. Put them all in your purse. Look at it. Put them in your purse. Put them in your purse. Put them in the uh, chocolate-scented chocolate -scented dinner napkin. <laughs> and now we are back at our cabin. Dinner was amazing. The steaks were exceptional. I loved the birch beer demi-glaze. And then also the soy ginger sauce my mom had with hers was so good. And when it comes down to the desserts, I mean, I was all about the Reese's peanut butter cup pie. It was literally the best peanut butter dessert I've ever had. But my mom and sister both loved the uh, creme brulee cheesecake. And even though we had those desserts, I still want to start up the fire. I don't know if I want any s'mores, but I might roast a marshmallow just for the just for the fun of it, you know? I just want to sit by the fire and enjoy it. And everyone around us, like uh, as we were driving back, I noticed their fires were going. So I was like, oh, I can't wait to get back. And uh, yeah, let's just go do it. Let's go light the fire. Ryan started the fire. There we go. Now it's catching. It's catching good here. I can smell the fire already. Time to relax and make some s'mores. You know, this is in Florida, this is Pennsylvania, but it is still summer and it is hot out. It's like 92 degrees out, but the fire is slowly dying or slowly burning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's very cozy. I love the smell of the fire, but it's looking good. And we got the uh, little patio here. So we're just gonna hang out, just uh, roast some marshmallows, talk, conversate, listen to music. You know, things families do. My mom and Ariel decided to call it a night, but me and Bonnie, we were set on this fire. We were set. Here's your stick. You're on fire. I like it. I like it charred. I like my marshmallows like I like my steak. Charred. Charred. Hope you guys like my music. I put on uh, 
It's a Fort Wilderness camp. I ate my marshmallow. Oh, you did? I ate my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's from? Yeah, it's from um, Timotoa. Timotoa. Yeah. Timotoa, yeah. No, I ate my grandma. <laughs> we got a little Fort Wilderness on right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can get Disney's Fort Wilderness on loop. <laughs> Bonnie's got to have hers like perfectly like oh. golden. Stay golden, pony boy. Stay golden. We got the smurs, the s'mores kit over here. Oh, cream savers. I forgot I had these. Well, after sitting outside, roasting some marshmallows, listening to some Fort Wilderness music, I think it's time to put the fire down and call it a night and uh, carry it over until tomorrow. We're going to carry the video over to the next day because uh, there's still a lot of fun things I want to show you guys. So uh, I guess we're uh, just going to call it a night. Call it a night for tonight. My mom partied hard last night. <laughs> Partying hard, I tell ya. And good morning from Hershey, Pennsylvania, the sweetest place on earth. I had a beautiful night. I got to smell the fire all night long. It was nice. This whole place just smells so amazing because there's all these different fires that they got going on. And I just love being outdoors. So uh, now I figured we go get ourselves a cup of coffee, then get the day started. We're going to head into Hershey Park today and it's going to be a fun day. I'm very excited. I'm making my way down to the general store to go get some coffee, but I wanted to show you guys the little tent area that they have over here. Some people are camping out right now. You can see tons of tents. They have a little bathroom here with showers and everything like that. And uh, down to the barn is where we're going. We're going to go get some coffee. Man, it is just so beautiful up here though. Like usually I'm used to waking up to like the hot humidity and stuff, but right now, it's gorgeous out. I'm feeling like prime paging Mr. Morrow right now, strolling around here. The general store coffee is so good and it does the trick. I'm definitely waking up already and I need to wake up. I've been on the go, go, go the past like 48 hours. It's been, it's, it's been a lot of fun actually. But like, like I mentioned, we did this so last second. Like I literally bought uh, the airplane ticket and I think I flew out like 27 hours later and then I'm flying out tonight. So I was, I've, I've literally only been in Hershey for not even 48 hours. I'm not going to be here for 48 hours. I came up and uh, just hung out with my sister and my mom and Ariel and now we're heading into the park and I have to do some filming in there and uh, then I'm going to fly home. But it was worth it. It was worth it. I was real sad that I couldn't celebrate, you know, my sister's birthday, but now I got to. I actually, we, we really did something fun. I'm going to head back to the cabin and get everyone up and rolling and started with the day. I should have got my mom a coffee, but she only likes Dunkin' Donuts. So maybe there's a Dunkin's around the uh, area here. You ready to go? We're ready. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah, ready? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, we're ready, we're ready. The stay at the cabin was beautiful. I really like it a lot here. And I think in the future, if I plan on coming back up and visiting Hershey, I definitely would want to stay here again. I mean, just because like, you know, I mentioned the price of the cabin. That's literally the price of all the other Hershey hotels here. And I'm telling you, you may get so much more space for your money. Cause like, we're gonna go check into the uh, Hershey Lodge now. And you're gonna see like the size of that room compared to this gigantic cabin. You know what I mean? It was the same price. Now you do have to bring your own linens and pillows and stuff like that. But that's how a lot of cabins and campsites are. <laughs> As we're driving around Hershey, PA, look at all of this. Isn't it so cool? The kissing tower, the monorail, and then this is the entrance to Zoo America. We're like backstage. This is what separates the park from the zoo. How cool is that? I love how the lampposts are little Hershey kisses. Some of them are wrapped and some of them are unwrapped. Look at that right there. That is so cool. That's how you know you're in Hershey. 
I'm gonna apologize to you guys in advance because I know that this video isn't like my normal format. It's probably a little bit all over the place, but I wasn't really expecting I'm making a video today. But my mom and sister, like I said, both of them were like, why aren't you making a video? And it's always awesome to have these videos to look back on and keep it like, as a little digital like memory booker, you know, something that you can always reference whenever you remember, you know, spending time with your family and stuff like that. So I'll make the most of it, but if you wanna see a full Hershey Park video I'll put a link in the description for the video I made just four weeks ago today we're just gonna show you little 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 tiny pieces of our day but most of the time it's gonna be spending time hanging out with family our first stop isn't gonna be inside Hershey Park it's gonna be here at Hershey's chocolate world because my mom wants to go on the chocolate tour it's been a while since she's been on that and plus uh, Ariel's never been here it's Ariel's first time and then we're gonna head to Hershey Park over there Ready to go on a chocolate tour? Oh, yeah. Welcome aboard the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Tour. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. We're on our way to the Hershey's Chocolate Factory. Your guide. What is that? Precise amounts to achieve that unique and consistent Hershey's flavor. You guys feel the heat? We pour the blended pearls We're roasting. into large revolving roasters, which get extremely hot. We're roasting. <laughs> we pasteurize and condense the sweet milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. This is where we find chocolate with these cocoa shells. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form some vegetable pieces that we call chocolate milk. Look at this refined chocolate right here. Refined chocolate. Refined chocolate. Yeah. We feed the chocolate crumb through steel rollers that run. Hi, everyone. These punching machines use big granite rollers to smooth and transform refined crumb into milk chocolate. The punching process mixes and heats the chocolate, developing a rich flavor and color. Is that Reese's peanut butter cup up there? Oh wow, look at all those Reese's. All of that fresh, delicious, wow. crushing chocolate goodness is finally ready to be milk chocolate and special dog bars. Hey, don't forget about Reese's peanut butter cup. Don't forget about the kisses. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's <laughs> Aw, thanks, Alex. That's so sweet. Oh, the best part, free chocolate. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, give it to her. Thank hey, you want my chocolate, Ariel? Yes, please. You want chocolate? Yep, she's just collecting all the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, all for me. <laughs> Ariel is getting her height checked. It looks like she's not a Reese's. She must be a Kisses. She's probably a Kisses right here. Let's see. There's still a lot of good rides, though. Right there, Ariel. Oh, yeah, she's definitely a Kisses. Just a little too short for the Reese's. Almost. And we have made it to Hershey's Chocolate Town, where fun meets chocolate. I'm so excited to be back here. It's only been a month. Literally, usually when I come here, it's a couple of years, but I was just up here. But it's great to be back with the whole family this time. I want to line up, because like I said, you never know, we're Bonnie here. You never know. 
You know Ma? No. Hold on, baby. Bonnie's the uh Bonnie's the carnival king right here. Try under. Oh, you were so close. It's documented. Come on, EPB. Come on, EPB. Yes! yes! Oh my lord! <laughs> wow, she got one. <laughs> I can't even believe this, guys. Bonnie won again. I won again. She won again. Look at what she won. Look at this. If you guys didn't see in New Jersey at Six Flags, she she uh, won the ring toss. Look at that! <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> Mom, drive off! <laughs> drive off! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. It's insane. <laughs> it is too. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I kind of want to be him. <laughs> I was walking by an ice cream shop when I saw a Wild Cat's Revenge milkshake. And look at the size of this. It was $20. It comes with a waffle, bacon, Twizzlers, a chocolate covered pretzel, everything in here. It's chocolate, ice cream. Wow, this is a huge shake. I think I like it though. I think it looks cool. I honestly just wanted to try the Wildcats Revenge Shake and I didn't know that it was just like this big, big one, but here we go. Oh, that's good. I can taste chocolate in there. I like it a lot. Bonnie is giving the Wildcats Revenge a go. Look at that. That's a lot to take so in, right? Crazy, yeah. How much do you think that cost? $15. Yeah, you're close. It's like $20, but it's like breakfast almost. You get bacon, yeah. waffles, everything. A little Twizzler? Yeah, give it a go. It's a chocolate. I, I feel like I taste chocolate in there. Like a chocolate milkshake, right? The yeah. Twizzlers look good. You like it? Mm -hmm. And you get to keep the mug. It says king size on there. Oh, oh fancy. Nice. And also, sad fact, Bonnie wanted to ride Tidal Force today to get soaking wet, but it was closed. Wah, wah. Oh well, maybe next time. Yep. Wait a second, where's Ariel? Oh, oh my Lanta, look at her, look at that face. Oh. oh, that is so funny. I didn't know she was on there by herself, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> I know, look at her. Got roller coasters. Oh. Oh. <laughs> More. More. <laughs> That's her one. More. Well, it's time for us to start making our way out of Hershey Park, but we're not leaving empty-handed. <laughs> Got a kiss. We've got a Reese's peanut butter cup and probably about six other. Watch that door, Ma! <laughs> it almost got you. <laughs> oh, that fan feels so good. Oh, can we go back to the fan? <laughs> well, that was a nice, short, but sweet little trip back home. Happy birthday, Bonnie. I hope you had a blast. It was great to hang out with my mom and Bonnie and Ariel and go to Hershey Park. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't film much. Uh, I'm just kind of like just winging it at this point. And as you can tell, I'm at the airport. I'm at the Harrisburg airport, uh, airport, ready to head down and get back to Florida, but I have to stop in Charlotte. I have been here for 27 hours. That's it, 27 hours. And Bonnie and my mom are heading back to the uh, Hershey Lodge and they're gonna relax. We got to hang out there for a little bit. The pool was nice. I wish I could have showed you more of that resort, but I plan on coming back up. Now it's time to head home and see little Gracie girl. Looks like we're flying one of those very tiny planes. Look at that, one world. Oh, this is so exciting. You can see the pilot out there. Oh, it's so hot outside. I've never boarded a plane like this actually. It's kind of funny. American Eagle.
they're, they're making the setting. Daddy, the Yeah, you miss me, huh? You miss my butt? You miss me, old girl, girl, huh? Oh, yes, you do. You wanna go for a walkie, huh? And with that, we are done here today. We are back home. Gracie was so excited to see me, and uh, it was a nice little trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the random little video. I think it was so much fun and spontaneous, and I had a great time hanging out with my family. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!